guys know what time it is. It's time for some new album recommendations that I highly recommend to anyone. I have a lot of different records here from a variety of different subgenres and genres that I think are worth putting on your guys' radar in case you're curious. I'm just going to be giving little blurbs of these. I don't want to linger on one for too long, and I've done album reviews for a couple of these, so if you want my full extended thoughts on a couple, I'll get to those when I get to those. But what records have you guys been enjoying the most recently, rock metal or otherwise, whether it's a new release or not? You can let me know down in the comment section below, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Starting off with probably my favorite discovery on this list, the Fractal Gates record, One With Dawn. This is the fourth release and the first I've ever heard from this French progressive and specifically melodic death metal band, Fractal Gates. And I'm in love with this thing. If you want a melodic death metal record that is drenched in atmosphere and so beautiful but so heavy at the same time, Orbit Culture fans specifically don't miss out on this one. I think if you enjoy the way Orbit Culture approaches atmosphere and music, this will be up your alley. I adore the production on this thing. It is fucking phenomenal from start to finish, and I'm happy that I'm finally hearing about these guys, so heavily recommend it. One of my favorite albums I've heard this entire year is In Vain's record, Solemn. Once again, this is another project that I had not heard about until recently. This is a black and death metal band coming out of Norway, mixing in a lot of different genres, so much so that it's a little hard to pin them down because they take a lot of hints from black metal, death metal, progressive music, technicality, and they combine soaring vocals. The first track especially is a massive example of this. It floored me with Whiplash how it just completely did a 180 and sound wise and direction wise. It was absolutely crazy. One of my favorite albums of this entire year. So many crisp vocal layerings that just tickle my ear in all the right ways. It's equal parts despondent, but also somehow like very like upbeat and joyous at times and kind of a, a strange way. It feels like opening up like a dusty spell book in like some old fantasy library. And it also stays very unpredictable. It always keeps the listener guessing. And in my opinion, this is a perfect example of an album that successfully mixes in all of these genres, but does so tastefully and lets all of them balance each other out really efficiently. Bong Ripper has a new album. Wee -hoo, wee -hoo. Bong Ripper has a new album entitled Empty. If you want some fucking crushing, just soul devouring, heavy sludge and doom metal, all a primitive man and like primitive man's record caustic, check this out. It is one of those things that just beats you down with such desolation that it just rips everything away from you. See what I did there? I think you will enjoy it if you're a fan of really heavy, well-produced, sludgy doom metal music that just makes sure that you are beaten to a pulp by the time it's done with you and have no hope left. A record that I did a full review on, if you want to hear my extended thoughts of, is the CU Space Cowboy record, Coup de Gras. I ended up giving it a 7.5 out of 10, and while it isn't my favorite CU Space Cowboy record, I think this would be a really good record for those that maybe aren't a fan of all of their mathcore absurdity and grind grindiness of like their early material from like songs for the Firing Squad and that sort of thing. Maybe this is more accessible. It has a lot more accessible riff ideas, a lot of different influence and aesthetic choices from 2000s indie music as well as 2000s dance punk and early emo and post-hardcore. Just a ton of different influences if you're a fan of like Blood Brothers, kind of the Panic at the Disco aesthetic of things. I believe I'm pronouncing this correctly and I tried to translate it on, on Google because Bandcamp was not being kind to me, but Azumo's self-titled album. If you like the atmospheric take on Black metal that is heavily melodic and not too touched up whatsoever. No frills, pulls no punches, no bullshit. This Japanese project might be for you. It's the labyrinth sort of black metal that just winds about with so much like slathered reverb on the vocals and a surprising amount of depth to the instrumentation if that's the sort of thing you like. And if you like your black metal to sound pretty raw and lo-fi but not too terribly raw that it just ear scrapes you, this might be up your alley. I swear to god these names. Dodger it! D do dodge, do dodge writ. Nocturnal Will. Just some beautifully, powerfully written material. It's not monotone at all, vocally especially. Some of the fiercest vocals that I've heard and some of the most pained and tortured on any black metal record I've heard this year. It toes the line of harsh and gorgeous at the same time. And the slower moments are surprisingly heartfelt and meaningful. I just think this is a really well-made black metal record with symphonic elements. Next up, Witch Vomit with Funeral Sanctum. I have been a staunch advocate for Witch Vomit for so long 
long, I've said that they are one of the only redeeming things of like the 20 buck spin era, and I know that's an over-exaggeration, of course it is, but I'm just not a big fan of a lot of the modern OSDM revival bands. I think it sounds a little foamed in, but this is a very well-made, grimy, mud cake, death metal record with a ton of grinding riffs, really well produced in a way that doesn't feel too phony or stupid or over the top or just pandering to the past. Sick blast beats, twisted up riffs, and thank God the vocals are not so buried in the mix that they're unintelligible and just fade into the background. And Dark Throne. This is another album I did a full length review for, so if you're interested in hearing my full thoughts of the album, you can go check that out, but this is honestly, in my personal opinion, the best Dark Throne has done this sort of speed metal and heavy metal infused style. I think it's wonderful, great production some of their best riff writing, a couple vocal things that maybe don't pan out incredibly well, and a little bit basic songwriting at points, but it's still an incredibly catchy and well-made thing. It pays respect to the past in a really respectful way while just sticking to their roots. Don't forget where you came from, but what are your favorite records that you've heard recently? You can let me know down in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear it, and what are your opinions of the ones on this list? Let me know if you check out any of them and end up enjoying them. Sure like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to join the review family today, and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is, my name is Jay Morris and I'm signing off saying farewell.